back to Airborne Productions. Today we're going to get this thing finished. We're going to start with a little bit of daikin, get it scribed out so we know where our lines are, and start grinding. So after some hand work, got the blade actually fitting in the handle. It will open up. That's what we're going to look like when it's all completely finished and open. So you notice this piece right here, this pin, should actually be all the way forward, um, which means it's not opening all the way. It's actually stopping a little short. So there's just a little bit of hand fitting back in here, and a little bit of hand fitting on this diagonal right here until we get this nice and perfectly straight and even and fully open and engaged. Problem is, if we go too much, we'll get a wiggle once it's completely open. So. A little more hand sandy. Okay, with most of our grinding done, we have some bevels in there. We're gonna get this thing hot and get it quenched before we need to get to our absolute final dimensions. So in the forge she goes. Freaking cool. Holy moly. What in the world? <laughs> it's so freaking cool. We have it suspended so we're going to etch it for four or five minutes or so then take it out and sand off all the etched material with 2000 grit to get it back down to that bare raw metal so that we can re-etch it keep going back and forth until we get the etch that we want here's after the first couple minutes So the knife's looking pretty cool right now. We're gonna keep playing uh, with that coffee soak and try to get that good contrast, get that uh, 1084 really dark while keeping that 1520 bright. And once we get it where we want it, then all that's left is taking our pile of parts and putting the thing together. She's done. So it's just about the same exact profile as the original blade. Uh, serrations are a bit different, uh, but yeah, fits up. Mechanism works really nice. Uh, I mean, honestly, I'm blown away. I can't believe that it's right here in front of me and it actually works. We somehow got it together. So if you enjoyed this build, we're doing a bunch more Damascus blacksmithing and all sorts of other videos in the future. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.